Welcome to the Ubiquity Fever Dream. In case you are wondering why it's all naked, well, so this unit uh, kind of bricked itself around midnight last night, and any attempts to get it to come back up just were straight up failing. There's the usual little reset hole down here. Um, I attempted using that, and it just would not respond to it. I couldn't get factory reset or recovery mode. I did get fans spinning inside the unit. Uh, this, this one's kind of cute. I didn't even see that. Like I could see when I removed the drive holder that there was a fan spinning back here, but it doesn't have any little lights or anything that would really tell me much. And this, so, so this little display on the front here would just say, please wait, starting up about five minutes left, that would gradually count down. Then it would say a little longer and it would finally say, unable to retrieve status, please contact Ubiquity support. So I started to wonder what this little display was and my theory was that it basically was a little standalone MCU that generates the graphics and communicates with the system over, well, whatever this interface is, probably USB for all I know. But that is indeed what it is. It's a little standalone, cute little uh, STM32 chip that's generating uh, generating the graphics and everything and controlling this touch screen, which it is an actual touch screen. I'm, I'm just not going to mess with it because it will reveal sensitive information if I do. No peeking. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, so as I was looking into the issue with the recovery button not working, I mean, my first thought was maybe, you know, maybe down here in the dark corner it was broken off or something. Nah, that wasn't really the case. What it actually was is that these capacitors apparently have a hell of a dielectric absorption to them and every time I attempted to power cycle the unit they were still just sitting here chilling out at a couple of volts. It, it was never actually rebooting and I found a reddit thread where somebody mentioned hey go in there and short the capacitors and I was I was amazed at how much voltage I saw on them I drained the caps and uh, held my breath, brought it back up, and recovery mode came up. I was able to burn the firmware back into it, and it didn't even lose its configuration. So, um, yeah, fever dream. I, I, I've never seen anything quite like this, and I hope to never see anything like this again. And if it does this crap again, I'm going in here and soldering little... Uh, little drain resistors across some of the caps out of spite, nerdy spite, and rage. Lots of rage. Oh.